Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 27, it's verses 39 through 43. Scripture says, And they that passed by reviled Him wagging their heads and saying thou destroyest the temple and buildest it again in three days save thyself if thou be the son of god come down from the cross likewise also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and the elders said he saved others himself he could not save if he be the king of israel let him come down from the cross and we will believe him he trusted in god let him deliver him now if he will save him, for he said, I am the Son of God. Friends, as we see Jesus hanging on the cross here, it's a sad thing as to what happened in front of him that day. As he was on the cross, the people walking by reviled him, they made fun of him, they they insulted him, they cursed at him. They were shaking their heads at him, even the chief priests and the elders came and they started mocking him. The thieves on the cross started mocking him. And even today, some 2,000 years later, people are still mocking at Jesus, saying, Oh, he's coming back. Let him come back. We'll, we'll do away with him again. And that's a sad thing. People continually mock Jesus. Why don't we see people mocking, mocking other quote-unquote religious leaders? You know, like like the Islamic leaders, like the Buddhist leaders, like the Hindu leaders. Why don't we see people mocking them like they do Jesus? I think the reason is because Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Savior of this world. He is the the the, the Messiah, and and I think because he is God in the flesh, that is why people are mocking him so much, and why people are insulting him so much, because he is not of this world. He created the world, but he's not of this world. Every other religious leader that people follow, whether it's it's the Muslim people, I can't think of the guy's name now, um, but whether it's the Muslim leader, whether it's the Hindu leader, whether it's the the Islam, whatever, all these people are from the world. All these supposed religious leaders and gods are from this world, except for Jesus. He came from the Father. In in First Corinthians chapter one, the Apostle Paul in verse twenty three, and we're going to talk more in these verses tonight on talking scripture. So I encourage you to join me here on Spreaker at six o'clock tonight as we talk about the stumbling block. But in verse twenty three of First Corinthians chapter one, as your verse twenty two and twenty three. Scripture says, for the, for the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. Why is Jesus crucified a stumbling block unto the Jews? Because they require a sign. Jesus was on the cross, and we remember hearing the Gospel of Matthew, the religious leaders said, hey, come down from the cross, let your father save you, then we'll believe you. They needed that sign, but they failed to heed, heed all the other signs that Jesus gave when the people were, were healed and demons were cast out. And Jesus did all these miracles, and they had the blinders on. They didn't want to believe he was the Messiah. They didn't look at his signs as signs to prove he is who he is. And it says the Greeks seek after wisdom. It doesn't make sense what God had done doesn't make sense that God had provided Jesus to die on the cross. No, it don't. But that's what God did out of his great love for you and for me. So friends, what are you doing with Jesus today? Are you worshiping him as the soon and coming king of this world? The risen savior of this world? 
or are you mocking Jesus and looking at him as nothing more than a than a story thought up by humans? Think about that as you go through this day and remember get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Go deeper in your Bible study with Talkin' Scripture. Live Tuesdays at 6 p.m.